Hello, my name is Richard Walters and in this demonstration we're going to look at resource pools and how they're used in managing resources between multiple projects. In this training demonstration we're going to look at resource pools and how they can be effective between sharing resources between multiple projects. So in this particular example, I have a project in front of me which has no resources and I can look at this by looking at the resource sheet view. So I'll look at the resource sheet now and I can see there's no resources. So I'm going to change back the Gantt chart in this example. Now I've got a second project open which has resources. Now this becomes the resource pool. So the second resource file I've renamed resource pool and if I look at the resource sheet this actually has resources so what I'm going to do now is share the resources between the resource pool and the project that has no resources so I'm going to just change this back to Gantt chart as well and I'm going to use the project now which which needs resources which is the original one called job setup project shared resources so I'm going to go to the resource tab, resource pool, and I'm going to share resources. Now the resource pool has to be open, or the file you're using that has resources has to be open to share resources. So I'm going to say use resources, and this is from the file that's called resource pool. Where it says pool takes precedence, this is really important. So if there's lots of projects sharing resources from the resource pool, that the pool then makes the decisions of who can have resources and who can't if there's multiple projects. So this is really useful to have on this setting. I'm now going to click OK. And if I go to the resource sheet now in this particular project, I now have resources available to me. So I'm going to change back to Gantt chart view in this, in this project. I'm going to assign a resource called trainers. And there's the resource trainers assigned to this particular project. And this particular project starts on the 29th of 1st, 2024. And we've got another project, which will be the same starting date. And again, I'll assign trainers to another project at the same time and then there'll be a conflict. So I'm going to save this one now. And I'm going to close down this project plus the resource pool. And say yes to that. And now I'm going to open up another project. And this one is called training project. But I also need to open up the resource pool to share the resources. And I want to open up the resource pool with a second option so I can read write it. Okay, so I've got the resource pool open. I'm going to go to the project that needs to share the resources, which is the training project. Go through the same process as the last project they opened. So resource, sheet, resource tab, resource pool, share resources from the resource pool. So use the resources, keep Pool takes precedence as the option. Click OK. And now if I go check the resource sheet view, I now have resources where this would have been blank before. I'm now going to go back to Gantt chart. OK, again, I'm going to assign trainers to this particular task. And again, it's starting the 29th of the 1st, 2024. So it's a conflict in dates if they have the same resource. And there we go, we've got a red conflict. So we're going to let the resource pool decide who now decides who has which part of the trainers. So we could split it, for example, might say health and safety training gets 80% of the uh, trainers. And the other project gets 20%. So 80 plus 20 means 100% allocation, which will be fine to get rid of the red over allocation. So that's what we'll do in this example. So I'm going to save this now. Going to close down project. And yes, I want to save the resource pools. 
Okay, now I'm going to open up the resource pool itself to manage this conflict. And I'm going to use the third option, which allows me to read, write, and open up a new master project file. And then I can look at the all the projects together in one new file. So third option I'm using this example. Okay. Right, so right now it's opened up the resource pool, but it's also opened up another project called Project 1. So this is the new project now that I've just opened. And we can see there's two projects, Job Setup Project plus the Training Project. And we can see they're starting on the same date. And we can see the conflict. So there's red for Task 1 of the Training Project. And there's red for the ID 1 and Task 1 of the Job Setup Project. So we're going to do an allocation split now. So the job setup project is going to get 20% of the trainers and the training project is going to get 80% and that should then get rid of the red conflict. So I'm going to double click on the ID1 design job specification on the first project, go to resources, change the percentage to 20%. Click OK. But I'm not going to let the duration change as much as it has. So what's happened here now? The duration has changed massively because I've now taken away 80% of the training's, trainer's effort. And project doesn't doesn't like that. It says it wants to increase duration massively. So there's a little diamond here we've got to be careful of. So I'm going to manage the diamond carefully now with a little drop down arrow. And I'm going to say change the amount of work to 20%, which is fine, but keep the same duration. And now it changes back to four days, which is where it was originally. And be careful of the second option as well for the health and safety training. So again, I'm going to double left click. Changes to 80%. Click OK. And again, I don't want these days to change. I want them to be the same. It's just a different allocation of percentages. And it's just a matter of catching the little drop down arrow carefully. And then I change the amount of work. Keep the same duration. And there we go, five days. So we've got an 80 20 split. And this is now coming from the new project we created through the resource pool. So these resource pools are really useful, whereby we, you can share resources between multiple projects, as well as you can manage conflicts in a new, what's called master project. But this completes the training video on resource pools. This concludes the demonstration on resource pools. See you on the next video.